All right. Today we're going to play some more slipways. I think we'll continue with the campaign. It's been a minute since I played this game. Every time I try to prep for something on the campaign, I've been doing it wrong. Receiving a faint signal from an inactive planet-sized megastructure located somewhere in this sector. Your task is to investigate this signal and learn the structure's purpose. You have 25 years to complete the mission goals. Find the forebearer megastructure, reactivate the megastructure, determine its purpose, and decide its fate. Signal boosters take one month and cost 15. After delivering people and... I don't know if that's and or robots. Detects the approximate direction where the forebearer structure can be found. I don't know if you have to deliver both or one or the other. Probably one or the other. Forebearer mega structure connects. Connecting planets that are successful or higher will redirect 50% of their income toward reactivating this structure. Successful planets give one production per year. Prosperous planets give plus two. You need 45 for complete reactivation. So it gives it by the year. And one star for each successful planet connected to the structure and two for each prosperous. Okay. It sounds like the name of the game is to grow tall on this one. Let's see what perks we have this time. That was mines on 80% of planets. Hoping for new planets, get money. That combined with, uh, one of the techs is pretty strong. I could combine it with that. Every four plants you discover, you get one science and discovering for explorer. way of augmentation too, so I might keep these guys. And we'll go ahead and check the others, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to go with. For the type of thing we have to do here, making them prosperous, maybe these guys actually make sense. A successful pot producing planet during its one unit of culture. A lot of science to get to that. This is always a personal favorite of mine. Maybe I won't go with you guys. I maybe we'll get that. And then I'll need the... Where's that other tech? I need the one that widens my range. 
for scans. Do I have that? I swear it's like a tier zero tech. Orders. Oh. If I get into money buying, these guys are always useful. I'll just go with these. That's what I'm feeling this time. I think I'll need it to... Uh... make them more prosperous okay so there's the signal booster oh the button again F a minute since I played this. Here's one science. That's why I like, like the scan range thing. It's very handy. You have an Earth like, that's always a good start. People. have a plan yet. Okay. Those make robots. Old to make minerals. Make people. Lots in green to make food. Almost works. Actually, I think I can go straight across this. Yes. So I can get the robots there. Of course, I only make one robot. So. Yeah, that kind of messes me up, actually. It means I can either have a robot or a green. Use that to make people. But then I don't have the food. This placement needs to make my food for the people. Uh. 
Can we stop there for the month? People for minerals on either side here. Asks, I run the planet to successful, a forge world to successful. All these new plants six different types, that's easy. Permanent worlds are actually kind of hard. Maybe a forge world. I can't cross the streams. What's that? I need more. Yeah, that's in my way there. There. Wait, no, that's backwards. So I need to make one here. I think I'll scan a couple months first. Plenty of people there. But I don't want to drag down my happiness anymore, so I'll wait before I do that. There. Here. Oh wow, that's a lot of water worlds. I didn't even notice those. Uh, here? I don't know. I'm just winging it here. Okay. Now we'll turn this into a mineral world. There. There. That leaves only this one short of robots. I don't know if we can fix that problem or not. make more robots I can make people robots there and get more food here uh, can I make that work well, I need the robots it gives the food food to make people I gotta wait yeah I'll scan The 96, now I can get the people I need here, give them the food. Give them the water. Nice, okay, that's actually a really good start. Now I've got spare people. Spare food, spare chips. I need to know where these four bear structures are. Does it take people and robots or find out by putting it here? It doesn't really need to be out there, it can be right here. It does take both. This way? Wait, what? Just somewhere in this general direction, huh? That's not quite as <laughs> helpful as I hoped it would be. Yeah, it was kind of expensive. I think a laboratory would have been better. 
And I can't undo that either. Oh, these are four barrel runes. Oh. But that's what we're, our mission is? Four bear mega structures. Okay. Turns robots into a lot of robots. This is a duplication one, right? Two more planet types. Block from getting people. problems this time okay research thing is I don't know what's gonna throw in here if I do this one not a clue Any people. Uh, another one of these. That's unfortunate. That was all pointless then. So I have no use for that unless I get another. Do it like that. No, that's not. Pe that's not what I need, though. I need people. Can't reach. Nope. So, I wonder if the slip amplifiers would get me there. I could go ahead and make one for minerals. Definitely could make one for minerals. Yeah, still got people and minerals left over. Let's do that. People, minerals. Have base income of science. Bots.
people for that. I think we need robots. I think that's what I do here. It also expands me in the direction I need to go. There's another thing for, uh... Might be the way to go. Good information either way. Okay, it's another science. Now I can get sleep amplifiers. Still doesn't get me here, unfortunately, but it's a useful tech to have either way. Also want cultural hoods, I think, before I go on to the next tech tier. Which gets me here for sure. Yeah, it goes to here. Multiply my blue green. Water and biomass. The only place I can use it is here. Well, and here, I guess, technically. to do with my last bit of time. Okay. Useful. Robots. Robots to food. I've already blew six years and haven't found the first one of these. Small problem. chips and food to make people food I can't reach here yeah now I wish I'd kept the other guys so that way I could blow that planet out of my way I've got a bunch of stuff I have no particular use for. Food here. I don't think that'll go either, though. I know I'm going to need food. Somewhere in this area, I'm sure I'll need food.
Well, say that. Like, make people here. People to make. It would be another research option, but. planet type and get a forge world to successful fortunate Needed to use a Forge World for something other than robots. Wonder. Oops. Oh, you can't reach. Fortunately. Make one of them here that does that. For minerals. That works. That's out of range, so. <laughs> Always something, isn't it? Don't think I have. Relays is tier three. Oh, that's not ideal. I can do it, but I have no means of exporting it. from either of these somewhere useful. Use those chips for. I do need the chips over here. I can't reach. Yeah, I already need relays.
Well, that's depressing. Really? Okay, we did a thing. Didn't do much for me, but it's something. research okay found one of them prosperous planets to make progress towards reactivation Structure is inactive as expected, and has been for a very long time. It is an enormous supercomputer, but little can be guessed about its purpose. All that we can discern about, all that we can discern right now, is a name and a motto, both engraved into the outer hull. Defiance. Those with no future make their own. How do I make these planets around it successful? Now that I know what it looks like, I thought it would be one of these, honestly. That means there's another one, or if that's just like a general area thing. Because that does lead to it right here on the corner. Oh. So, we have robots, we have chips, which is neither of the things we need here. Sounds about right. Chips and food. People. We do need people. Well, hello there. Welcome to the stream. I get past it? Yes. Shoot in the dark here. Gotta get food here. Oops. 
Uh, this is called Slipways. It's about trying to make a uh, resource network in a developing uh, solar system. It looks very simple at first, but it can get pretty complicated trying to make things work because you have to use the planets for whatever resources they can provide for you. See, now I have to find the food for this system where it does a drain on my happiness until eventually I lose the game. So I get plus one science for every four planets because of one of the perks I picked. Every four planets I reveal. Yeah, for every four planets you discover you get plus one science and then I get another three because I've made a science laboratory researching the minerals. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. Okay, so here's an option. Use the robots. Some green, which is biomass. If I can get some biomass, I can get food for these guys. Let's see. Okay, I can make a two-way here. I think. to make the green green arrow wants to make the food pull that out of my way this is going to cost me a lot of happiness because I'm going through a new year with a bunch of unconnected planets unfortunately can this get by oh it can't okay never mind that changes everything uh, I need relays. Yep, I need slip seam, slipstream relays. The problem. Okay, we're gonna have to rethink this. Fortunately, they, they let me undo as long as I haven't revealed information. Anything that reveals information. Can't get rid of an asteroid. I can get rid of an asteroid. I don't have the group that can destroy planets, though. There's like a, a economic heavy group that you can pick at the start that can destroy planets that are in your way. And I didn't pick them. I don't think I have anything that can help me other than slipstream relays. I can destroy asteroids all day long. Okay, which did you pick then? Uh, I went with the, uh, the Tory. They're scientific focused. Uh, the Scythid, which are usually production focused. And, uh, the Dinder, which mostly leans toward uh, pit prosperity of the people and uh, happiness. They all have their strengths and weaknesses. What was the other perk I picked? Uh, oh, right. The one that gives me uh, the joint factories. Which is what I picked here. Instead of just giving chips, it gives chips and robots. I picked it here too. I use that uh, perk a lot, actually. Okay, so yeah, we have a small problem here. I may actually just go ahead and expand this way.
all three choices are for cons uh, consistent growth. Is that what you're trying to say? Or constant growth. I mean, every choice can uh, do some sort of growth in their own way. Uh, like I said, the other guys are production and economic focus. I've had uh, on the higher difficulty levels where I would just tank my economy by making one wrong move. And they can usually solve that problem. Uh, I didn't reveal very many signals down here, unfortunately. Okay, that doesn't help me. That doesn't help me. Okay, we uh, rolled a zero on that one. Ooh. This is bad. Okay. So, without relays, I have no means of feeding these people. Other than this, can I get green here? That would save me a lot of trouble. It doesn't produce it, it uses it. I mean, that helps. I said I couldn't uh, do this without relays, though. So it's just going to be short of the green stuff for a while, I guess. Unfortunately. Okay, now I can produce your... Locked that too, though, unfortunately. Minerals to here. Her goods. Okay, we're still at established size. Negative 2C per planet each year. Okay, every planet is functioning properly except for this one. That's still not established, unfortunately. Why is that? At least two export routes. So I need another export route for people. Um, here? Reach? Yes. Ships, I guess. There we go. Okay. Now we're producing one per year. That's not fast enough. People. Water. Food. Food and the people. And that one I can also attach in now. I think. Potential lab studying. Do that one right now. Got some green there, but it's trapped. Oh yeah, and you could pick it, pick these, uh, but toward the end you can 
choose not to pick them because they actually count against your score if you don't finish them. So we can do, let's see. I think I'll do that one. I think I kind of need to. To get the other forebear effect on this one. Four or more non-human resources. This one's deceptively hard. Looks like I could have just done that one, though. Three planets producing it, though? Oof. A lot of planets, I don't think it counts. I think I'll just go with that one. I'm pretty sure I can do the increased population by eight. Wait, the question is, do we want to jump tech? I kind of want to get to it, but at the same time, I still need to get culture hubs. That can boost other planets that are not doing as well. In fact, that may solve my problem. It costs me any time, though, does it? It just costs money? Perfect. Love it. Okay, no more negative happiness. Add this one in. It's plus two per year. Right, people here. Think. The people for water? Water, and then I was going to tie it into here. Uh, that ends the year with a negative, unfortunately. The problem solved for the time being? Exactly. Yeah, that solved this problem. It still doesn't do what it needs to do. Technically still struggling, but it works for now. Room for improvement, I should say. Okay, we can go to this forebear here. All oh, right, we have to do the quest as well. So we want to produce green. Here, where we have people. Keep hunting for a place I can use get some biomass. Just out of range still. Another reason for a relay. Oh well you pick three from the same tree. I've never actually tried before. Interesting. Habitats. Food and a people. I could really use that, actually. I think that'd be huge. Um. Okay. Oh, that's how the slip amplifiers worked. I forgot. I forgot it was an upgrade, not a uh, passive. How do these work, though? Oh, an asteroid. Oh, see if I read things. Now oh, I kind of wish I hadn't destroyed all those asteroids.
do it for free, but it costs you two months. Oh, I can do it this way. I think. Out of range? How? Uh, what? Okay. That's three free science. Turns green. Oh, it just produces that. Well, that would be useful for the quest I want to do, actually. I need to produce green, right? Do I have any more green around here, though? Robots into green? I could do that. Get the people from here. Here. Ooh, I could do that. Cut anything off I need? No. That's what we do then. Here. Produce that. Laboratory. That, that way it knows which one I want. There we go. Task complete. Now we have another base science production of three per year. Uh, we need to finish this. I forgot again. That's okay. So complete. Unemployment affects happiness as well, just not on a yearly basis. I may pull that here. Once I actually get this all connected. Uh, what can I do for the next two months? Poor bear. Permanent research bonus. Quick research bonuses. I only have 13 more years. So I do actually get more just by doing this. But I get it quicker doing this. There's an argument for both. This is the happy medium. And cheaper. I'm not hurting for the money, though. Scan over here. Oh, I'm just a, just barely not able to reach both of those. Okay. We can do this one. Is that what I wanted to do? No. Am I backwards? People to produce blue.
Um, no, I want people. And got confused there. Okay, got by this hand, that's plus three per year now. What's this one mean? Has three. Trade with three other planets that are successful or better. I need to make this one successful. Or one of these. He already has two. What do you need? Same thing. Total of six imports and exports. probably do a chip research if I wanted to. I think we're pretty good on our science output though. By action. Converts the mass of this planet asteroid into a slipstream relay. Interesting. I actually have never picked that tech, but that sounds useful. It saves me the trouble of making my way up to actual relays. If an asteroid can do the job. Make water, I could do that. for the robots though people to question is do we relay it or do we destroy it I'm pretty sure I make it either way just by Ooh, right, I already picked Cultural Hub there, so I actually do need the relays for that. It's one instance where I have to. If I want to get people there. Huh, cool. Robots. Oh, I could do it to Forge Worlds as well. Interesting. Ooh. On all plants. Oh, oh, that's more useful than yeah. Actually, that's a lot more useful than I thought it would be. Mass lensing. to make the water that might have just been a giant waste of time I don't know So I didn't make any of them successful. 
This one needs water. I didn't think so. Can I use this to make that successful? No. I didn't think so. That's funny. If these had the same requirement that these do, it would already be prosperous. people to spare here either. I can't get food here. I could just export robots. I could lensify this for more. Research. There we go. That did the job. I need to make more people. Both want goods. I think I'll put the relay here. Wait, do we? Is that what we do? I don't want the culture thing there. We should beat the game, or this level, I should say, not the game. current setup. Sure there's some optimization we can do here, but uh, what are we researching? Green here or here. I could do blue easily here because I've got ocean here, ocean here. Ocean here. I'll burn through too many people. Fire this one. This is terrifying technology, isn't it? Just 
turns a planet into a uh, relay. Okay. It's another three science per year. And extends my vision. Robots can make water here. The minerals. I have the minerals actually. Chips for this one. Same thing with this one. Man, that tech is just super useful. At 110%. This network is really growing. I know. It's getting there. We're up to large size. Negative 3 per planet each year. Space overload. A bit more per. 10% for each 5 supplies you add. A few negative modifiers here. Oh yeah, I forgot all about this thing. Whoops. Enlightenment do. The need for it's already just oh established. Okay, that's like the lowest tier. Other than the red tier of not having what they need. That's the only one that doesn't qualify. Still technically struggling. I could produce some energy here. I could make that one happy, but... Oh well. That helped me. It doesn't really help me anywhere in here. Because they already have theirs fulfilled and nobody else needs it. Help this planet out. But is it worth it? Where is enlightenment? Not even on our tree. Oh yeah, slipstream splitting is kind of useful too.
that could be what I need for increasing the happiness here or not happiness but the prosperity accepts any resource except for people be used best in this area food water robots chips here maybe here we'll see how that works Oh, you actually have to... Oops, my bad. See, the thing's bouncing. It's not actually delivering them yet. Plus 2% happiness. Okay, I still need something here. Actually, I could use that other tech here. Wherever it's attached to it here. I think I'd put it there. Unit of chips on any planet producing minerals. Chips here. That gets all these up to prosperous. Nice. I don't think I could get more out of that if I tried. I wonder if there's another mega structure on the map. and robots that aren't being used. Three robots. Cool. Maybe put it here somewhere. This way. Interesting. Just barely obstructed. worlds
Huh. Can't find a path forward up here. Less than ideal. Fair water I don't need. Robots can make food. I don't have any spare robots now. I've burned them all. This side of the map doesn't have robots, unfortunately. Beyond what I've already used. I could make them here. But I'd need people. Green for this. robots here but I don't have the people again food people make robots food makes people okay that's a triangle And this automatically finishes off my other quest. Have seven more years. At this point, that would be a very hard mission. Maybe I can. I think I still have a resource I haven't exploited yet, too. We'll see. I've researched. Let's see. Or oh, I have green, the minerals. Oops, I left this over here alone without time to finish it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, 
We're gonna have another science thing here. Green. So I haven't done chips or robots. That's the two. Kind of just want to scan, maybe. I don't know if I have, if I have time to find another one of these, but we're trying. I said I was going to do. a two-way right there I could do robots make water and then it trades straight back Oops. be for the next couple months <coughs> oh sorry about that That's what I do. Maybe I just go ahead and build a laboratory. That takes two months. I have to be able to predict where I'm going to put it there. Which is going to require people. Well, thank you. Get some out of just having robots of people. Get another robot there. That's probably the play. connection here I think maybe as long as we can do it without doing like five relays people to here out of range uh, I'm gonna turn that into a relay Gets me there. There it is. Okay, I've got boatloads of science now. Splitting, do I need that? I don't know. More money, we're not really hurting for money. Realize action. All the raw resources of this planet to turn into a forge world. That could definitely be useful. 
Drifters to receive an additional a second person from the same source. Plans receiving at least two people make one additional unit of happiness. Sound really good. Worked. Didn't seem to affect anything. Upgrade. We did a little closer. Second person from the same source and make an additional happiness. Maybe I didn't have any people to spare. Well, here's one. Okay, yeah, I see. He's bouncing. Uh-huh. That's a lot of happiness. Why isn't that one bouncing? People here. Two new technologies. I could probably do that one in the next four years. I think I'll just accept that one task. I'm pretty sure I can get two new technologies beyond that. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay, he is bouncing. Okay, cool. Kind of strong, I think, actually. It also reduces your unemployment. But you kind of got to be careful with it, I think. You don't want to burn up all your people. And not be able to expand. I could use that person here instead. expand this way so I think I'll let it roll robots here to make water I could do that and relay it down. I don't know if it's worth it. Goods anywhere yet. It's a solid choice. that food 
food. Food and water to people. I could do that. Purpose. Buy that. Yeah, I was kind of figured. Actually, you know what? Undo that. I think I have the tech for split streaming. searches here first. Cool. I have food, people, and... people and my area some more now we're up to colossal size It'll cost us a little more and upkeep okay where is this thing the relay go there's this one am I blind I was pointing to that one I think and another there it is yeah it's pointing oh actually it's kind of could be anywhere between here and there I randomly leave it's because my laptop may have randomly switched off. That's fine. I'm happy you stopped by either way. Come and go as you please. Even worth making a relay over. Probably not. A little more value out of it. Communication hub for cultural exchange and game plus two. Happiness on all connected planets that make people. Unit of each produced resource except people on all connected planets. That could be really strong. Think on that one for a minute. Do I have any more of those I haven't activated? Oops, I forgot all about this one. Forever ago. Oh, 
Okay. I didn't know this thing had a uh, set for it. Looks like the purpose of the structure was strong uploaded minds. Granting them a new life in a virtual universe. The system is completely locked down as if its constructors feared interference from others. The reactivating, reactivated computing cores are processing something for the first time in ages. There's no way to know if any of the mines survived. Okay, so the choice is dependent upon who I picked in the start. I think we'll take that one. Bonus score. Now I have unemployment again, because I have all these people. One thing I'll probably rectify for the end. Why? I guess I'm not using people for anything here. Interesting. Plus one science. Happiness. We get another plus one science, I think. Also, just a question, but have you heard of Assassin's Creed? So honestly, I think that would be an epic game to watch you stream if you don't ever plan on it. Oh, if you ever plan on it. Uh, I might. I've heard a lot about uh, Valhalla. I might play that. A lot of people have some uh, moral issues with uh, Ubisoft presently. But me, I don't play games based on that, personally. Play what I want to play. Hmm. I think we blow this one out of the way. Connect this as well. Oh, it's out of range. Uh. Culture Hover Relay. Um, relay do something else as well. Just reduce the cost. I'm not worried about the cost. Same. If I should go culture hub or relay. And it's a huge happiness bonus. Oh, we're at the end of the game, aren't we? Oh, okay, now one month and one year. Facilities on planets that are established. Wait, 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 wait. I need to make two, though. If I use that one, I don't think I'll have enough. I need something cheap. This one. And then one other tech. Oh, I already did another tech. Oh, never mind. Forgot I'd already grabbed another tech. Uh, undo that, then. I don't need the money. Skill facilities.
Another two percent happiness. See how we can do some min maxing now. Again here. We do have a year remaining. We actually turn that into a relay. We can. This one needs robots. No, it uses robots. Sorry. I get that backwards sometimes. Chips. I do still need chips for that one. Okay. This might be my best run yet. I don't see any reason not to at this point. Let's see. Are there any other connections I can make to improve happiness? Air minerals. Have the actual relay technology, unfortunately. So that's one I can't do anything with. December, didn't it? Oops. I don't have enough time for that.
I don't think I can get much more out of it, honestly. I need a bomb mass, I have no way to get it there. Alright, the production boosters. Oops. Outputs chips. This one could output chips. Everything around it outputs chips. make an extra ore but I didn't do anything with it. some extra production of everything I could think of here and then see if I can make some connections out of it. Well, I've got the money to spare so why not? really strong combined with that or I can make two robots and three chips make one here that one already has something else doesn't it slip amplifier this one Extra connections can we make now? Is it prosperous enough? Doesn't look like I have any spare connections that I haven't already made. Food. Put that here. Didn't help anything. People in water.
Oops. That didn't help out either. Puts water. About as good as we're gonna get, I think. Only two started. Because they wanted me to have seven or nine prosperous planets and Okay, I had to find another one of the structures. To get perfect on this one. Alright. 